let us show an example of how to deal with offenses. In my QReader CE, I don't have any offenses that have ever fired in here. I have uh, logs and flows. But I'm, let's say I'm interested in detecting WannaCry. So what I'll do is I'll go into extension management. And from there, I'm going to go to the App Exchange. And in here, I'm going to look for uh, WannaCry. And there is a package for it, which uh, I download. And OK, now that I have the package download, I can go back here and add the package. I'm going to pause the video while this does the installation. So I don't need to know the details, but this thing is going to uh, add QID records. Uh, it's going to add some regex properties, some uh, data collection. So it's going to add some uh, reference sets with some uh, pre-populated data. Let me actually scroll down. I'm sure it's going to add some rules as well. So. And again, you don't need to know the details, but in case that you want to see them, there are some safe searches that we can see there, custom functions, and there might be some, uh, yeah, here they are, uh, what did I say? custom rules, nine custom rules designed to detect WannaCry attacks. So let's install that, those. So my curator system is ready for detecting WannaCry. So I should have logs and flows that uh, is gonna, are going to denote the, the attack. So let's actually see this in action. There's actually a WannaCry, a WannaCry uh, case uh, compromise right now. And one thing that works both on the logs and flows is that if you are having, uh, like in the case of uh, flows in here, uh, overwhelming amount of traffic uh, definitely you need to go into the filter and one I mean there are multiple parameters in here but one that I like a lot when I'm particularly looking for uh, see if an offense uh, fire is I look for a filter associated with offense match true and add that filter and now if I uh, go here yeah in near real time with that filter applied I should be seeing only stuff that is actually related to that uh, the particular offense that I'm looking for that type of attack also this icon in here to the left indicates that there's been an, an actual uh, offense uh, that these flows uh, contributed uh, to that offense you can do the same thing on the on the log activity. So if I add a filter associated, I may have meet, may, may have missed the event, uh, but uh, that's not a problem. I click here associated with events, and I can actually go back in time. Let's say uh, five minutes, and actually we see events that are associated with it. Now, you go to the offenses tab you will see here an offense firing. How do I like to look at offenses is I double click on it and I see, notice that, these are three events and actually almost 2,000 flows that indicated that there's a WannaCry attack and that package that we added from the App Exchange made, uh, made it easy. So what I like to do when these things happen is display the rules that make these attacks. We have two. We have here, well, local to remote Windows Server Scanner, because that's what WannaCry is actually uh, doing. <laughs> and uh, this rule that basically indicates, let's take a look at it, that's one of the rules added, that, uh, that there has been either a file hash or a file name or a flow in the payload uh, or Q&I, actually, which is an, an additional component I don't have installed in here. But with any one of those, Says so those as the word any, you know, denotes the presence of uh, of WannaCry, 
you get your offense and you get alerted uh, about it.